sound in your ears. So let it be a sweet, sweet sound. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ears. Here I am waiting. Abide in me, I pray. Here I am longing for you. Hold me in your arms. Bring me to my knees. May I know Jesus more and more. Here I am waiting. Here I am waiting, yes, Lord. Have all in me, I pray. Now here I am longing for you. Bring me to your arm. Bring me to your knees. May I know Jesus. Oh, Ramon, we need you up every day. We need you up every time. Holy, 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 holy God, come and take your place. Esther, raise your voice for me. We need you up every day. Every day, we need you every time. Holy, 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 holy ghost, come and take control. Oh, we need you every day, every day. We need you every time. Holy, 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 holy ghost. Oh, come and take control. Oh, for we need you every day, every day. We need you every year. Oh, holy, 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 holy Ghost, come and holy take Ghost, your place. Come and take your place. We need you every day. We need you yes, every day, Lord, every day. We need you, and we need you every time. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, come and take Holy, 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 Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, come and take your place. Holy Ghost, Holy, 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 Holy Ghost, come and have your way. Come and have your, your place. We need you, Lord. We, we need you every day, every day, every day. and we need you every time. Oh, holy, 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 holy Ghost. Make your will known, 
Let's give praise and honor unto our God, our King, who has brought us together this afternoon. Let's celebrate him because he's King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Let's exalt his name above every other name. Let's thank him. Father, in the name of Jesus, unto your throne of mercy, we approach your God. Unto your throne of mercy, we approach your God. We celebrate you and we honor you. We adore you because you are good God. And your mercy endure forever. Your mercy endure forever. Your mercy endure forever. We worship you, oh God. We worship you. Mantara la ba shanda ya ba. Ya la la ba ma 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 ma. Oh, ba ma 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 ma. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We worship you. We worship you, Lord. He ya la 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 ma se na na ma ma ya na. He ya la ba si ya le le bo si na 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 ma se ka ya ma ma. Father, we have come again. Holy God, come up your way. We have come again. We have come again. Oh, we have come again. Holy Ghost, we have come. Hey, Father, we have come again. Holy Ghost, come and take control. Singing, we have come again. We have come again. Father, we have come again. Holy Ghost, come and take your place. Father, Father, we have come again. No. Holy Ghost, come up your way. We have come again. We have come again. Father, we have come again. No. Holy Ghost, come and take control. Father, we have come again. Holy Ghost, come and take control. Father, we have come again. Holy Ghost, come and take control. Father, Father, we have come again. Holy Ghost, come and take your place. We have come again. Oh, we have come again. We have come to you, Lord. Father, we have come again. Holy Ghost, come and take control. Father, we have come again. Holy Ghost, come and take your place. Sing it, Father. Father, we have come again. Holy Ghost, come and take your place. Here we are, O oh God, in your presence. We submit to your authority and your power. We pray for wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. Help us, O oh God, to embrace your ways. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Beloved, we are all welcome into the presence of the Most High God one more time. We thank God who is helping us to understand His ways and His principles. This is the time for us to know God and to know Him better. Our knowledge of pursuing God is not head knowledge, but hearts a mind coordination the fellowship that consists of heart and mind and body given unto it this afternoon we want to talk about one of the powerful way method that Satan is deceiving Christians yesterday afternoon I hated a bit familiar spirit 
familiar spirit. It's one of the most dangerous spirits that can cause a Christian to think that he's doing well. The one that he thinks that he's standing must be very careful that he doesn't fall. We are in the end time. And a prophecy has come that Satan is going to bring all kinds of revelation at this end time which is not from God. And it takes divine takes divine revelation, deep insight with God for us to be able to discern. And that is why I believe the Lord is urging me to teach these things. That Christians ought to be very, very careful. Those who are waiting for the coming of the Lord, because this is the time of falling away. Many are going to fall away because they don't want to listen to the voice of God and follow the counsel of God. So, I'm dealing with a subject of entitlement. Danger of having contact with a familiar spirit. The danger of familiar spirit. The danger of familiar spirit. Yesterday, we reveal familiar spirit as a demonic spirit that causes a person to identify himself or herself as a child of God, yet being deceived. Many people as at this end time are falling as a Pray to many diabolical forces. Many stands and preach and speak in the name of Jesus Christ, but they are not of God. They are not of God. Yesterday, we I think we finish our teachings by quoting Acts chapter number 16. Please take me there again. You want to begin with them? The danger of familiar spirit. There are many today that claim that God is speaking to them. Now, if a child of God is not careful, if a born again believer is not careful, he might be led astray by those demons. Sister, read for us Acts chapter number six, uh, 16. Let's begin. begin from verse 16, please. Verse 16. Pastor, please, verse 16. Yes, please. Acts chapter, chapter 16. Six. Verse 16. Please, yes. I'm reading. And it came to pass as we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with a spirit of divination met us, which brought her master's much gain by, by soothsaying. The same followed Paul and us and cried, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God, who shew unto us the way of salvation. And this did she many days, but Paul, being grieved, turned and said to the Spirit, I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out of the same hour. Mm. Amen. Amen. Mm. When we say familiar spirit it comes from the Latin world Latin word familiaris familiaris meaning that a household servant as household servant so when we're talking about familiar spirit we are talking about demon in your house, in your own family they live with you they see everything. They know your family history. There is nothing concerning you that he doesn't know. Now such spirit operates in false prophets. They have a lying tongue and a false spirit. Self spirit bring awareness of a person past, a person future. And sometimes certain fortune, they can predict them. They can see them, 
They work in the form of sorcery. Necromancy. Consulting of spirits. This spirit is a very strong demon. They are medium spirit. And in the Old Testament were forbidden for a child of God to get involved with them. Sister, read the first scripture again. From Leviticus chapter 19 verse 31. These spirits speak with the dead. They contact the dead. So they can call the dead people in your family. They work with a spirit called telepathy. And that telepathy spirit can travel like a thousand miles per minute. So those demons can connect. They work with dwarfs. They are demonic spirits. That any person that comes in contact with them, any person that becomes one with them, you are dead. Familiar spirit. The danger of familiar spirit in the church. It is called a new age movement in our ministry today. They are called, they, 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 they are doing all kinds of miracles. They can tell you everything that you know. Some are even, even giving us divine revelation that you've been taken to heaven and hell. Familiar spirit. They can predict what is going to happen and it can happen. They counter the sky. They are palm readers. They are astronomers. They are people that read your star. Familiar spirit. It's one of the highest mainstream that Satan uses to deceive Christians. According to Acts chapter 16, Apostle Paul was deceived by that spirit. Because when they come, they will let you feel comfortable. They will let you feel that they are part of you. So you will not realize it. Until they might have driven you out. So when Paul came into this place, apostle, and this girl was following them for days, for a long period. Everywhere they go, this girl will introduce them. These are the men of God. They have come to preach the gospel. Listen to them. These are the holy men of God. These are the true men of God. Until at a point, the Holy Spirit could not contain it any longer. Apostle Paul could not. So, he cast that demon, come out of that girl. You are not a good spirit. The danger of familiar spirit. Very dangerous. They pretend to be Christians. They pretend to hear from God. They pretend to have seen but they use people's notes. They use people's information. Because they are demon. And demon also give them information. God forbid them in the Old Testament. In the New Testament likewise it is forbidden. That is why the Bible said that we should not suffer a wish to lay. Ladies and gentlemen. This spirit become a guide. To communicate with those people that entertain them. Familiar spirit. Very dangerous. And because let me go to the 19 verse 31. So 19 verse 31, please I read in Jesus' name. Regard not them that have familiar spirit, neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. Mm -hmm. Desire not those who have familiar spirit. Neither seek those who are calling the dead divination so that you will not be defiled. A born again believer, after you have taken away your jewelries, after you have taken away perfume, after you have taken away wig, another thing that I personally believe the church must be aware with the familiar spirit because they will defile you. When you come into contact with them, they will destroy you. They will turn you away from God. 
for you to go and worship idol on our world. Why? Because they speak in the mainstreams. They say so many things that everybody is saying. But what nobody is saying, that is the area they get you and destroy you. Read chapter 20, verse 6. Have nothing in common with them, save the Lord. Chapter 20, verse 6. Please, I read it in Jesus' name. And the soul that tended after such as have familiar spirit, and after wizards to go to go a whoring after them, I will even set my face against that soul and will cut him off from among his people. I will cut him off. My face will be risen against them. Those who follow the familiar spirit. Meaning that a child of God, when you trade with these so-called false prophets, when you entertain them, you entertain them in your life, you'll be cut off. God will cut you off. He wouldn't let you have anything in common with you. Be careful with the familiar spirit. They are dangerous. Read the verse 27, the same chapter 20, verse 27. Leviticus 20, 27. 20, 27. A man also, or a woman, that had a familiar spirit, or that is a wizard, shall surely be put to death. They shall not. They shall stone them with stones. Yeah, they Their blood shall be upon them. Any person operating in this in the Old Testament, so in Acts chapter 16, Apostle Paul was not supposed to cut all these demons out. He should have raised a stone. <laughs> that was also a temptation to tempt Apostle Paul that if he has really converted, he would have killed that woman that day. <laughs> Apostle Paul could have killed her because he did it to 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 to, to Stephen. They consider the manifestation. You know the reason why they stole Stephen, and one day he was saying that I see heaven hoping. He irritated them the more. When Stephen was seeing the vision, and he was seeing the vision and laughing, ah, ha 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 ha! I can see heaven open. Angels are descending. That. If we treat them the more. Why? Because they consider Stephen as a person who is possessed with demon familiar spirit. Why? Because Leviticus chapter 20, verse 27 <laughs> says that kill that woman. Kill her. Don't allow them. Suffer not. That's the King James. That's the English that I was looking for. Suffer not a witch. Or a wizard, or a woman with familiar spirit. Don't allow that person to live. Deuteronomy chapter 18. Deuteronomy. Understand that these things are so working in the life of individual. Therefore, believer ought to be careful. We have to be very, very careful. Deuteronomy chapter 18, sister, let's speak it from verse 9. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 9. Please read in Jesus' name. When thou art come into the land which, which the Lord God, or which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. Mm. Please, should I continue? Yes, bless. Verse 10. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire. That is one or of the mediums. In those, those, those uh, uh, nations, they will allow their children to pass through fire. And that is one of the demonic activity that was going on. Burning people alive is a demonic. So Muslims who are burning children and burning people alive, this is not from God. Don't allow your children to pass through. They used to have bonfire and people are running through it. That is demonic activity. Number two. To pass through the fire or that user divination or an observer of times or an enchanter or a witch. A witch, observer of time, enchanter. Divination. Divination. Divination is a way of predicting and seeing something that nobody sees. But it is coming from the wrong source. They were literally forbidden. 
they were literally forbidden. Why? Because those communication that is going on is medium. They counter demons. They counter demons. And since they are not from God, they cannot practice Christ. And therefore, a child of God must disassociate himself from such spirit. Forbidden, forbidden, forbidden. Continue, sister. Verse 11. Or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirit, or a wizard, or a, necrom a necromancer. necromancer. When we say somebody is a charmer, somebody who charms, they have paint, they use something in their faces, use something in their self, put a uh, mark in their tongue, they will charm you. They have eaten some kinds, gone through all kinds of, of demonic concussion. So when they speak, you can't reverse their message. A brother friend was talking to me a few hours ago. The gentleman wanted to buy his something from him. They agreed on a price. When the person came, he divided the price into two and he gave to the guy. The guy counted the money while that man was standing there. He didn't ask him anything. After the man had gone, then he became aware. What a silly thing have I done? Counted the money against ah. We agree on, but I counted the money. Why did they allow him to go? He called the man and the man said, we agree on that money that you are holding. So I'm sorry, I'm not going to add anything to it. I have that thing and I'm going now. There are people like that. They are charmers. They will charm you. Make you a fool. They will cause you to do things that you are not ready to do. Continue, sister. Sometimes you go to marketplaces. And th these are people, they used to sell things. Businessmen. When you go and they give you the price, you can't, you can't, see, you can't, you can't ask for reduction. So that way you pay the person and you go. Charmers. We have people today in our society who are charming men and women. And that is why they use all kinds of jewelries, makeup, lipstick, eyelash, when they put all these things in their face, they attract you and they charm you. Just give you one eye, you are gone. They charm you. The spirit of lust will jump over you. Don't come close to them. The Lord says that because they will defile you. Charmers, uh -huh. diviners, I do these things an abomination unto the Lord. Those people who do these things are abomination. Listen to me. Yesterday we were having a meeting and one of our sisters that the law reveal how people are being charmed. How people are going to false pastors and taking water, anointing oil, and putting those things in their husband's food. And those men, they are out of control. They are bully bully. They are like people who have gone through occult themselves. And the law said there is anger. His anger is coming after any person. They have gone to a medium to collect an object so that you can get a person to marry him. If you are listening to me, you need to come out and you need to confess them that you are going to hell. You have taken your marriage, you have taken your work, you have taken your journey into a man for protection. You are not a Christian. If you are listening to me and you are like that, sought or seek. A true man of God. And let him take you through the deliverance and denounce those spirits. Be careful. Be careful. Those who do these things are what? For all that for all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God do drive them out from before thee. Thou shalt be perfect with the Lord thy God. For these nations which thou shalt possess hearken unto observations of times and unto, div un unto diviners. But as for thee, the Lord thy God had not suffered thee so to do. 
the Lord thy God will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of the of thy brethren, like unto me, unto him he shall hear from. Amen. Did you hear that? The Lord said, because of these practices, that is why God drove all of them away from the surface of this earth. The reason why the children of Israel could kill these people because God was waiting for Israel to rise up and kill all of them and give their lands to them. Go and possess it because what they are practicing, they are a medium that Satan is using to control the earth. They are the ways and means Satan is using to spread sin. Because when you are caught, when you are caught by their word, you begin to practice what they are practicing. They affirm evil. They practice sin. They live double lifestyle. Double standard. They can prophesy today, but tomorrow they will come and propose to you that God said that you are my wife. And such are the spirit which is going on today in the church. Fornicating. Fornicating with brothers and sisters in the church and in churches. In churches of God today, we have these demonic people ruling the church of Christ. And the Lord is warning us, for such have nothing in common with them. For such have nothing to do with them. Why? Because they are filled with the indignation of God. They are filled with the anger of God. They are filled with the anger of God. The Lord is calling our attention to set our eyes against what God's eyes is against. Transcendent, what do you call it? Transcendental. They transcend. They talk about magic ring. They talk about magic stick. Any pastor that you see holding anything as a symbol, as a sign, that man is an occult. There is nothing called bishop ring, bishop heart, bishop rod, bishop star. They are all demonic. In the man of God that you meet in your life, apart from this book, Apart from this book, holding Bible, apart from this Bible, anything added onto your Bible, be careful. You are in the dangerous ground where God is going to refuse you and reject you. Transcendence. They'll be talking about my spirit can travel. Any person that uses that language, be careful. Visualization, necromancy, witchcraft, drugs, and alcohol. These people get involved with all those things. Today, what is very common is anointing oil. There is nothing called anointing oil. Nothing. There is nowhere in the Bible called anointing oil. But anoint people with an oil. So anytime you come across any person selling anything to you, you are in the hands of, of these demons. And I bet you, God's anger is against all who do these things. The Bible says that as a man think in his heart, so is he. Don't listen to them. Don't listen to them. Don't eat from them. Don't drink from them. Don't have any association with them. Why? Because by so doing it, you can ruin your own destiny. You can ruin your own destiny. So Christians ought to be very, very, very careful. Uh, now let's go to 1 Samuel chapter 28. 1 Samuel chapter 28. First Samuel chapter 28. Please read the verse number 3 downwards. Verse 3 downwards. Please read the verse. Now Samuel was dead, and all Israel had lamented him, 
and buried him in Rama, living in his own city. And Saul had put away those that had familiar spirit, and the wizards withered out of the land. And the Philistines gathered themselves together and came and pitched in Shinem. And Saul gathered all Israel together and they pitched in Gibeah. And when Saul saw the host of the Philistines, he was afraid, and his heart greatly trembled. And when Saul inquired of the Lord, the Lord answered him not, neither by dreams, nor by urine, nor by prophets. Then said Saul unto his servants, Seek me a woman that had a familiar spirit, that I may go to her and inquire of her. And his servants said to him, Behold, there is a woman that had a familiar spirit at Endo, and Saul disguised himself and put on other raiment, and he went, and two men with him, and they came to the woman by night, and he said, I pray thee, divine unto me by the familiar spirit, and bring me, bring me him up, whom I shall name unto thee. And the woman said unto him, Behold, thou knowest what Saul had done. How he had cut off those that had familiar spirit and the wizard out of the land. Wherefore, when layest thou a snare for my life to cause me to die? And so swear to her by the Lord, saying, As the Lord liveth, there shall no punishment happen to thee for this thing. So, then, so then, okay. all right. So, this is after the death of Samuel. Samuel is dead. He's been buried. King Saul is in a very hot seat. Palestinians are about to take over the city. So Saul wanted to go to war. But as it is in the heart of every man, before he does anything, he wants to be sure if God is with him. Prior to that, Saul, according to the word of God, had driven all those people from the south from the earth. While he was living, Saul had driven all of them. It was one of the responsibility. We're going to talk about that in the next few minutes. One of the responsibility of the king of Israel, kings or the leaders, that they should spot out those people and drive them away. Other than that, God cannot dwell there. Before the Israelites could possess those lands, God had to allow them to be driven out first. Why? Because God was among them. God was working with the Israelites. Everywhere they went, God was with them. God was with them. And therefore, God wouldn't like them to associate themselves with such spirits. So God allowed them to drive all of them. God allowed them to drive all of them from every area where they were. So among the congregation and the gathering of the saints, those people shouldn't be part at all. Today we have modern Ghana, modern Christians and churches, that it is full of these people. All, all, the so-called people are doing signs and wonders, miracles. All of them are after these demons. Isaiah chapter number 8. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 19. When they say to you, console the mediums and the spirit who whisper and mutter, should not the people console their God? Should they console the dead on behalf of the living? It was forbidden. So Saul became one of the first people that should do such thing in the entire Israel. The first king, the first king of Israel that turned away from God and sought. Simply like this, whenever we turn from God, Saul have lost Samuel. Samuel was the spokesman. Samuel was every time and then I gave Saul revelation, what God is saying. Woe unto you if your prophet is a soothsayer. Woe unto you that your so-called leader cannot differentiate the two. Because it is not easy to discern them. 
It takes only the Holy Spirit to bring you some doubts. Because the else, when they begin to say that God is saying things, it does not add together. Their lives are, and their teaching does not add up together. So, we encourage you to listen to God and know God yourself. So that you may not lose your hand. You may not leave your life in the hands of these men. Because they will destroy you. Should any person consult the dead on behalf of the living? Sister, read where you were. Continue. Samuel promised the woman, nothing bad will happen to you. I want to know. You come first. And you know what? Basically, Saul disguised his face. He didn't go himself. He has to cover him because the woman will kill her. And the woman will run away. Thinking that Saul has come to kill. So even when the woman heard a voice that this is Saul, she was shivering. Continue, sister. Verse 11. Then said the woman, Whom shall I bring up unto thee? And he said, Bring me up Samuel. And when the woman saw Samuel, she cried with a loud voice. And the woman spake to Saul, saying, Why hast thou deceived me? For thou art Saul. And the king said unto her, Be not afraid, for what sewest thou? What, what, for what sowest thou? And the woman said unto Saul, I saw gods ascending out of the earth. And he said unto her, What form is he of? And she said, An old man cometh up, and he is covered with a mantle, and so perceived that it was Samuel, and he stopped and he stooped with his face to the ground and bowed himself. And Samuel said to Saul, Why has that disquieted me to bring me up? And Saul answered, I am so distressed, for the Philistines make war against me, and God is departed from me, and answered me no more, neither by prophet nor by dreams. Therefore I have called thee, that thou mayest make known unto me what I shall do. Then said Samuel, Wherefore then doest thou ask of me, seeing the Lord is departed from thee, and is become thy enemy? Mm. The Lord had done to him as he spake by me, mm. for the Lord had rent the kingdom out of thy hand, and given it to thy neighbor, even to David, because thou obeyest not the voice of the Lord, mm. nor executed his fierce wrath upon Amalek. Therefore have the Lord done this thing unto thee this day. Moreover, the Lord will also deliver Israel with thee into the hand of the Philistines, and, tomor and tomorrow shall thou and thy sons be with me. The Lord also shall deliver the host of Israel into the hand of the Philistines. That's right. That's <laughs> fine. That's fine. The question now arises: Was it real? Samuel? Yes, it was Samuel. It wasn't any other spirit. It was Samuel. When you follow the dialogue, now Samuel has to reveal the mind of God, the plans of God. Demons cannot reveal the mind of God. Number one, it wasn't his demon. The person that came was Samuel. In those days, Jesus had not died. So those people were still, they were at their resting place. And mind you, God can do everything. So God permitted that. The Lord God permitted that. Saul prayed to God. He did everything. Did offering, sacrifice, and every God didn't listen to him. So the only thing that he sought to do, or die be die. Let me provoke this one. If it happens, it happens. If I die, I die. So lo and behold, the Lord allowed this time to allow Samuel to talk to Saul. So Samuel told exactly the plans of God concerning the children of Israel, concerning the kingship, concerning the authority that he is giving to David and everything that he is going to possess. From that day, 
Saul started destroying everything, wanted to kill David at all costs. Food notes here. God does not want immature people to have information. Because that information will destroy them. Mm. If God gives immature person information, that information will destroy the person. The reason why many people receive the gift of God, but they can't live with the gift of God is lack of maturity. When the call of God comes upon a person, a person has to go through a series of tests before the person can stand and fulfill God's mandate, he needs to go through a lot of things. Your ego, ego tests, I, me, and myself. The area of your lust, God will prove it. Your pride must go. Seeking for things that has, has not been given unto you, covetousness. All this area before you can become a dynamic person that can bring people into the presence of God, those things must die. Other than that, it will destroy you yourself. He gives of the minister is two edged sword. And the person that is carrying the message, you are part of the message. Listen to me. Don't watch what I'm doing. You can listen to Brother Gabriel's message, but don't copy me. Oh. Whenever you hear a pastor saying that, if he's not warning you that you are not mature to do certain things, so don't do this one. This one you can try, but don't do it. Like I tell you, sometimes I go and listen to some false prophets, and I want to know their tricks to confirm the word of God so that you can also show people how to identify these people. How can I identify the people who have this familiar spirit? Number one, people with familiar spirits, they can speak the voice of God, but they can't live the word of God. Number two, they are always preaching one thing and living another thing. The same thing. Write it down. It will help you. Just coming from your inside. Number one. They can preach. But they can't live the word. They can perform miracles. But they can't live miraculous life. They will tell you things to do. But they don't say they don't do them. Number two. They use objects. Because they are mediums. Because they are demon and spirit. They put your faith and your confidence in things. Not in Christ. Believe in anointing oil. Somebody sends me. I think it's on Facebook. Somebody sent it. Posted it. There was this elderly Roman Catholic father. And I think he was either baptizing a little child, slapping the child. And the parents became so upset, so they took the child. These are the demons. They have no passion, they have no desire. So this thing, it came physically, so the people saw that it seemed the man was going mad. Another woman was pulling him here, and the, this, the, the father was taking the child, and the child was screaming. They are demons. They use objects, oil, candle. Sometimes familiar spirit will tell you, take this money. Whenever you are having any, uh, who has money here? Who has a well, five pound note? In the administration, they will tell you, they buy their way through. Take this money and go and release him. Whenever you hear any man, Listen to me, sisters. We are in the modern Christianity. There is nothing called directions. Any prophet, any pastor, that you hear him calling direction, please take your eyes off. They use word direction. They are familiar spirits. They can cast out demons. They do miracles. 
but they don't base upon the word, the power in the word of God. They believe the substance that are in the word of God. Go and buy this. Go and buy salt. Go and buy sugar. Go and buy this. Go and buy that. God does not use any of those things. God doesn't use any of those things apart from his blood. Apart from his blood. The next way to identify them. Go ahead, Jenny. We want to know who um, so is able to speak the mind of God. Which part do you use in doing the miracle? The mind of God that he has speaking basically other what have been revealed. So let me say the revealed mind of God. The revealed will of God. Because if the spirit that they are calling them, they are demons, they can tell you everything. But when even everything that they are saying is cursed, everything that comes out of their mouth to you is a curse. It's a curse. They can see the curse, but they can't see the blessing side. So, if I can get your question again, which side of... Those powers that they are using, they are demon spirit. It is not from God. It is not from God. I mean, recently you asked me a question, can God use a sinner? God can use a sinner to preach his gospel, yes. But God will never use a sinner to do miracles. The miracle that they are doing from the devil. God can still use sinners to bring the truth out. But if they are going to live that truth, it's up to them. It's another level. It's another level. So we must be very, 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 very careful with these familiar spirits. If a pastor is living fornication life and still prophesying a familiar spirit. When they come to you, they come to you in a ship clothes in a wolf personality on a world. They try to take advantage over you sexually and financially. How to identify them? They will take advantage over you. But whenever they come to you, they have weaknesses. The area of your strength is the area that activates their reality. Hosea 4, 6, man, people are perished because of lack of knowledge. Iron sharpeneth iron. There is a connection between you and them. They know all your weaknesses. They know certain weaknesses about you because demons are sending them. So they have information, they have an assignment to perform in your life. So be very, very careful to allow those who say yes into your life because they bring you into an area where God will reject you. They'll bring you to that area. They don't come in the name of God. They must Behave as if in the name of God, but they are not. They sent by the devil for their own self gain and self interest. They pursue self like all the false prophets. They will tell you lies. And when you have belief and faith in there, that is the area of their strength. After you have given in to their deception. That is the area of their strength. Your strength will expose them. What do I mean by your strength? Your strength here means if you're a man, maybe your job, you, are, you have money. You're a woman. You are beautiful. You have money. That attract them. They are attracted by certain qualities in you. And that quality put them down. Before they will be aware. They may be after your money. They will be after your body. These are familiar spirits. They gain their power 
by sacrifices to the devil. The more sacrifices they do, the more they regain their power. And all their sacrifices are built on human soul, blood. All their sacrifices are human soul. Other living souls through sperm or through killing people and getting their blood. Familiar spirit. Saying their spirit is not coming from God. They put fear and intimidation on people. So they use their psychic. If you are somebody who have read psychology or know certain psychology, you study human being for a long time, the way people behave, the brain behind people's behavior and their attitude. When you are able to discern that, you can easily identify them. How do they dress? They dress a very complex way to win your favor. All the celestial churches are familiar spirit. All the familiar uh, celestial churches. They don't operate in the name of Jesus. After they have finished all that they are doing, they mention Jesus. Give Jesus a praise. In the course and during the situation, so most of the so-called prophets today are of the same spirit. God says that those who consult them, I will be against them. I will destroy them and cut them from my dwellings. They are not parts of me. Be careful. Be careful. There are most of them today, even in holiness. Be careful. I still have problem that at the beginning of every year, there are some prophets that they can prophesy what God is going to do for the whole year. Hmm. If God has not given individual prophecy that this year this is what I'm going to do in your life this year who has ever had that revelation before that God have told him but there are certain prophets at the beginning of every year God will give them general I'm going to do this November I'm going to do December I'm going to when I hear these things it does not matter who you are you're out of my life God is not an altar of confusion we come across them every day we don't see them but when we come close and become very one with them, we see that they have so many. Those people, their life has not been changed. Their life has not been changed. They can shout and preach, but their life has not been changed. When you go closer to them, you see how weak, sexual weaknesses, greedy financially, proudful, and their heart is full of mischief. Their agenda is they themselves. They want to promote themselves. They just want to promote themselves. They will speak publicly different, but when you meet them, they are different. Their messages, the so-called revelation, they are not adding up together. Therefore, they will just run around and run around run around run around rattle and rattle and rattle and rattle the lord god have spoken the almighty the messiah the adonah the king of king the prince of peace the mighty one of israel before he will continue he have mentioned god name about 30 times compare yourself in the old testament prophets whom did god's Sent that the message was so complicated. The message is all repentance and turn to God. Every message that God sent through his prophet was repentant message. Tell their people to turn back unto me because they are deviating. But they don't preach salvation. They don't preach repentance. And though they preach repentance, they use it as a bait to get you to follow idol. Because soon and very soon you begin to bow before them and worship them. They accept worship. 
those familiars where they accept worship. They love you to call them prophets, general overseer, major general, mighty prophet, mighty man of God. Only God is mighty. No human being have that title. Right reverend. Only God should be reverend. No human being have that right reverend title. They live with titles. But that feeds their ego. Be careful with familiar spirit. Because they are very dangerous to destroy your life. Coming closer to them in the Old Testament was forbidden. And in the New Testament, when you come around them, kill those demons. Destroy them. Don't let them live. Why? Because if you allow them to live, you will put yourself, you become one with them. Sister, read Second Kings chapter number 23. It became something that the Lord Allow the children, the kings of Israel to destroy all these people. Samuel saw at a point, removed them. But now when he is in trouble, he went for them. Why? Because they, they stand to serve the purpose of God in our lives. When God is no longer listening or hearing us. Alright, let's go then. Second Kings chapter 2 verse number uh, chapter 23. Second Kings chapter 23 verse 24, sister. All over. Second Kings chapter 23 verse 24. Moreover, the workers with familiar spirit and the wizards and the images and the idols and all the abominations that were spied in the land of Judah and in Jerusalem, the Josiah put away that he might perform the words of the law which were written in the book of Hilkiah, the priest found in the house of the Lord. And King Josiah has to draw all, including their jewelry, their skulls, and all these things that they are using them. Whenever you go closer to them, they will mark you. They will give you a band. Handband, they will give you a ring, they will give you their t shirts. Run away because they mark you as part of them. In the church that is giving you hand bangles and all these things, flee from them, sister. God is not God and objects, it's not a God of mediums. So that he doesn't want her to serve him in pictures and in stones and in those things. God is not like that. Let her be very careful. King Josiah has to take all. But of the 18 year old King Josiah, his Passover was observed in the Lord in Jerusalem. <coughs> he observed the Passover. And moreover, Josiah removed mediums and spirits and the teraphim and the idols and all the abomination that were seen in the land of Judah. All homosexuals were killed. Transgenders were killed. Women wearing trousers. Women wearing jewelries. In those days, they were punished. Why? Because they attract the curse of God into a land. They attract the rejection of God. So if your kingdom, you want your kingdom, kill them. When you do that, God is so happy. Sister, read that way and let's see what God said. Verse 25. Before him, well, uh huh. And like unto him was there no king before him that turns to the Lord with all his heart and with all his soul and with all his might, according to all the law of Moses, neither after him arose there any like him. Did you hear that? Before and after, he served God with all. Before you and me can serve God with all our heart, all our mind, all our soul, we need to remove everything. 
that can cause us to lose heaven. Take your heart off. Take your mind off. Why? They are abominable things. Genesis chapter 31. The uncle of Jacob was one of those people that were seven. You, you understand that before God can pick a person, God has seen something. If the uncle was seven one, they'll know that Rebecca came from Adoratra's house. Now, if you want to go and marry Adoratra's woman, don't you think that you need to perform Adoratra's ways? 31 and sin. Genesis chapter 31, verse 19. Please read in Jesus' name. And Laban went to share his sheep, and Rachel had stolen the image that were her father's. And Jacob stole away. And Jacob stole away on her way to Laban the Syrian, in that he told him not that he fled. So he fled with all that he had, and he rose up and passed over the river and set his face toward the Mount Gilead. And it was told Laban on the third day that Jacob was fled, and he took his brethren with him and pursued after him seven days' journey, and they overtook him in the Mount Gilead, and go and God came to Laban, the Syrian, in a dream by night, and said unto him, Take heed that thou speak not to Jacob, either good or bad. Then Laban overtook Jacob. Now Jacob had pitched his tent in the, ma in, in the mount, and Laban with his brethren pitched in the mount of Gilead. And Laban said unto Jacob, What hast thou done, done that thou hast stolen away on a west to me, and carried away my daughters? And kept as captive, taken with the sword. Mm. Wherefore did thou flee away secretly and still away from me, and didst not tell me that I might have sent thee away with mirth and with songs, with tablet and with harp, and has not suffered me to kiss my sons and my daughters, that has now done foolishly in so doing. It is in thy power of my hand to do you hurt, mm. but the but of your father speak unto me yesterday night, saying, Take that he that thou speak not to Jacob, either good or bad. Mm. And now, that thou wouldest need to be gone, because thou so longest after so longed after thy father's house. Yet wherefore hast thou stolen my ghost? Mm. Jacob answered and said to Laban, Because I was afraid, for I said, Her adventure thou wouldest take by force thy daughters from me. With, with whomsoever thou findest thy God, let him not live. Did you hear before that? Before I is saying that what is thy with me, and take it to thee. For Jacob knew not that Rachel has stolen them. Did you hear what Jacob said? Let the one who has stolen that your familiar spirit, let him die. That was the cause many book of, uh, many full uh, uh school of thoughts say that that was the reason why Rachel died because Jacob cursed her don't joke with these things because they bring curse they bring rejection they bring failure now sister jump to Genesis chapter 35 is that what we read no please verse we read 19. Chapter, read chapter 35 verse 19 and Rachel died and was buried in the way to Ephrath, which is Bethlehem. She couldn't even enter into where? Bethlehem. <laughs> which place did Jacob ask them to throw the idol that therefore they should go and sacrifice unto him? Bethel. Bethlehem. That place became Bethlehem. Richard couldn't reach there. You see how serious the whole thing is? When you listen to these false prophets, when you allow them into your lives, when you take their objects, when you carry their anointing oil, when you take their Zabrano oil, be careful. Be extra, extra careful. For God will not allow a diviner, a diviner, a man with a familiar spirit, God will never allow them to live. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the eyes of God is set against all who walk in abominable. Go reject them. Because he wants us to be filled with the Holy Spirit. He wants us to have nothing in common with such things. Because it brings the anger of God upon man. Satan knows very well. He knows very well what will cause man to be destroyed. Now let's go to Judges chapter 17 verse 5. The danger of having contact with the familiar spirit. Be very careful. They will take the glory of God out of your life. They will sleep with you. They will sleep with your spirit. They come out with your spirit and destroy your testimony. They are very dangerous people. They keep you away from going to where God wants you to be. They drive you away from the presence of God. Because they are bewitched and working for the devil. So every conversation that you have with them can reduce your spirituality. Be careful. Don't set your feet. Don't have anything with them. I believe the church must be taught. Judges chapter number 18. Sister, read 17 and 18. Now the five men who went to spy... What did I say, Judges? Read the chapter. Please read the chapter 17, first of all. Chapter 17, verse 5, and then we go to chapter 18. Judges chapter 17, verse 5. Oh, sorry. And the man Mika had a shrine, and he made an effort, and the household idol consecrated one of his sons, that he might become his priest. These were what the children of Israel, when there was no king, everybody was doing whatever he wanted to do, and the one man called Mika. He had his own shrine. Today in Ghana, we call it come into my Masuya. Whenever you say Masuya, me come into my shrine. Pastors are using the same thing, come into my shrine. And that is a demonic language. Mumra Masuya. Mumra Masuya. A man of God, you don't have something of your own. Come into the house of God. Come to church. Don't come to me. You come to God. So any man that use that word, come, come. I am having a consultation. In the man of God, you will consult for him to tell you what is God telling you in person. Know that you are dealing with divination and familiar spirit. We are too much. We want to know what God has for us, but what God is saying to us, but we are not interested to do what God is telling us to do. And people have been forced. Let's go to chapter 18, verse 17 and 18. Judges 17, 18. 18, verse 17 to 18. Please, I read in Jesus' name. And the five men that went to spy out the land went up and came in theta and took the, gra the graven image and the effort and the teraphim and the molten image. And the priest stood in the entrance of the gates with, with the 600 men that were appointed with weapons of war. Verse 18. And this went into Micaiah's, Micaiah's house and fetched the carved image the effort and the teraphim and the molten image then said said the priest unto them what do ye please verse 18 what are you doing touch not the accursed things touch not those things 
Because when you do them, you bring the curse of God upon yourself. It was forbidden for the children of Israel not to have anything in common with such things because they bring the anger of God. Now, is it also forbidden for we, the modern Christians, not to have anything in common with them? Uh, Brother James, in the book of James chapter 1 verse 25, James chapter 1 verse 25, Tells us about the one who looks intently on the perfect law of the Lord of Liberty and abide by it, not having become forgetful, hearer, but effectual doer. This man will be blessed and be loved because he does the will of God. Ladies and gentlemen, Revelation 22, verse 15 says, Outside heaven gates are dogs, sorcerers immoral persons, murderers, and adulterers, and everyone who loves and practices lying. Divination is lying spirit. Familiar spirit is lying spirit. Yesterday we spoke about the main motivation, what motivates Satan to do what he's doing. is lying spirit. And those people that operate that they are liars, you don't need two lies to be disqualified. Only one lie. So let us be very, very cautious to associate with this man. I'm using this because of the current situation that have put me, my life on check that I've got to be very, very, very careful. Any person that comes into our lives and does not bring the will of God brings abomination. Abomination. Abo, 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 abomination. When the Bible talks about abomination, they are forbidden things. They are forbidden things that Christians ought not to be mentioned even among them. You shouldn't be called even among the gathering of Christians. But today, these things are being done. So God forbid the children of Israel to come into contact with these things. Why? Because they bring destruction. Sister, read 2 Chronicles 28, verse 3. One of the areas are this familiar spirit. They use incense and perfume. That's why the Lord doesn't want Christians to use perfume at all. Is it normal here? All right. Sister Norma recently had a revelation about perfume. I wish she is here to share. She said that she loved perfume. She said, Pastor, every day you are talking about perfume. I have not. I had not fully given up yet. So I went into a place and I see a friend of mine who was using perfume. And I said, wow, your perfume is nice. And the person gave her some of the perfume and she used it. Immediately, she saw that she's been bound with chains. Immediately. She was praying that God, if those perfumes are not good, help me to stop. Immediately, she found herself in chains. Started screaming and screaming and screaming after using that perfume. Sister, read 2 Chronicles 28 verse 3. Moreover, 28 verse 3. Sorry. Eight. Eight, verse three. Moreover, he burned incense in the valley of the son of Hemon, and burned his children in the fire, after the abominations of the heathen, whom the Lord has cast out before the children of Israel. Amen. These are abom burning incense. Whenever you go to any church with candle, with incense. 
In Christ, there is no burning of anything. Burning clothes, we don't burn anything. Or oh, the only thing that we burn is sin. And we burn it fasting prayer, studying the word of God, fasting, studying the word of God and prayer, and living the word of God, that burned them. That burned them. Nothing. These are abominable things in the sight of. Sister, read verse from, from verse 1 for me. From verse 1, Ahaz was 20 years old when he had begun to reign. And he reigned 16 years in Jerusalem, but he did not that which was right. He did not that which was right in the sight of the Lord. He didn't do like, what was right. Ahaz, 20 years. When you have the time to read the book of and see the kings, that was their responsibility. They led the children of Israel into idol worshiping. Woe unto you if your king has not got a heart of Christ. I'm very careful and very sensitive. Very careful. Anything that happens, happens for a reason. Anything that happens, it happens for a reason. And I believe enough is enough for me not to trust in my own ways, but to trust in the power of God. Ahaz couldn't do what was pleasing unto God. Instead, he burnt incest. Uh -huh. He reacted. His father, for he walked in the way of the kings of Israel and made also made an image for for Berlin. Verse 3. Moreover, he burnt incense in the valley of the son of Himenon and burned his children in the fire after the abomination of the hairpin, whom the Lord had cast out before the children of Israel. Those things, God said, I hate them. If you are listening to me and you have any sculpture, you have any image in your house, throw them. A child of God shouldn't have anything made with a sun or tree, metal or anything that entertains your heart. Leviticus chapter 18 verse 21. Leviticus 18 21. Let Leviticus us... 18 verse 21. Please read in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt not let any of thy seed pass through the fire mm -hmm. to molly, neither shalt thou profane the name of thy God, I am the Lord. Mm. The Lord spoke to the children of Israel that they ought to be very careful. When you read from verse 1, please come from verse 1. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the sons of Israel and say unto them, I am the Lord your God. You shall not do what is done in the land of Egypt where you lived. Don't practice sin. Today people come to church and they bring the world. Don't practice what you are practicing in the world. When you come to Christianity, if care, if, if it is necessary, remove everything that you had. Because you are coming from the world. You need to change your way of dressing. You need to change the way you see things. Sister Reed, are you there? Leviticus 18 verse 1. Please read the verse 3. Verse 3. After, after the doings of the land of Egypt, wherein he dwells, shall ye not do? And after the doings of the land of Canaan, wherever I bring you, shall ye not do? Neither shall ye walk in their ordinances. Neither shall you do practice your way of life. Love not the world and the things in this world, because they are from the devil. He is the source of them. Don't love car. It is the source from Satan. Don't love houses. Don't love properties. Love the Lord your God. If you don't love human beings. Brother Gabriel, he said, I don't love my wife. I'm not talking about that love. Apart from your wife and your husband, your children. The love here means 
allow those things to influence your choices for them to control anything that controls you make you a slave so the Lord God said love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your soul with all your mind you see when he's talking about himself love me with all your heart with all your mind with all your soul and love your neighbor as yourself did he say that love a human being with your heart? Love a human being with your soul? Love a human being with everything? No, he didn't say that. He didn't say that. So the love that we have towards human being, the way I love myself is the way I love you. But the way I love God is different from the way the love that I have for my wife. I love the Lord with all my heart, with all my mind, with all my soul. But I love my wife with my pancreas. The kidneys and lungs. <laughs> but with my heart, my soul is for God. My kidney, my pancreas, my lungs, my intestines, that one my wife can have it. <laughs> oh, let's see. Don't give your heart to your wife, oh. Give it to God. Sister, don't give your heart to your husband, oh. Give it to God. Oh, Bible never said I give your heart to your husband. Did the Bible say that love your neighbor as your heart? Love your neighbor as yourself. What does it mean? Let what God says become the final thing. Your husband is saying that you are not wearing jewelry, so I'm not going to marry you again. Ah, my husband. Husband is only here on earth. Oh. Your bright price does no worth my heavenly price. Don't forget it. The Lord gave this wisdom to us a few days ago. Do you remember? Your bright price does not worth equal to the blood that Jesus showed on the Calvary Street for me, darling. If you don't want to come to heaven with me, take your ring and leave my house. That house, you, you, you built it, but leave it, it's in my house now, because of the children's mind. <laughs> but I gave her, I said, drive your husband away and go to heaven. Yes, if he doesn't want to go to heaven. That demonic, adulterous husband. Drive him out, if he doesn't want to go to heaven with you. In those days when we were walking in foolishness, I used to buy my wife perfume. My wife never bought any perfume for herself. I might be lying if she is here. I bought all the perfumes. Why? Because she need to smell the way I want. There was a, a powerful perfume. Some of you, Konzo flower. Do you know that one? Not, not, not very sweet flower, isn't it? Sweet perfume, isn't it? Oh yes, flower. It's red, smallish, very slim flower. Oh, that's sweet. That is sweet. You know. Perfume make your heart sweet. Causes you to last after a person. Now the night where the Lord gave me his heart. When I prayed and I got the heart of Christ. I was running after Muslim women. Not that I was lasting. I am doing a little shit. Oh no. Okay. Not that I was lasting after them that I want to have sex with them. No. I've given them my gospel track. They threw it out. I said, can you turn and give me just your face? I love you. The love of Jesus Christ. That Christ came to die for. That love was controlling my heart that night. I've never felt it before. I've never felt a love for human beings until the day that Jesus said, now you have my heart that should love people the way I love them. Pastor, love your church member the way God loves them. Not that you want to take advantage over them. So when I come into your life and I tell you I love you as my wife, Gabriel, the love that I have for my wife is sexual love. I love you as Christ loves you. That's a love you need to share, sister. It's not a romantic love. 
So when I'm talking to my sisters, I respect them and talk to them as somebody misses. The day I cross over, you can slap me. Disrespect me straight away. Don't say, oh, pastor, you shouldn't say that. Disrespect me straight away. Be careful with the conversation. If your pastor does not respect himself, and pat you at the back, hit you and tap you some places, that only your husband had the right. Pastor, your only right is to shake my hands. Have you seen the holiness greetings? We don't embrace, we shake hands from a distance. <laughs> if you're embracing the sister, then you better embrace the person like this. Somebody wife. So now you're going to squeeze somebody inside last is worrying you. Every sister or sister, I need your contact. And you're screaming, oh, sister, I cannot get your contact. The devil is a liar. Last is in you. How can I know that these people are having last? You will know them unless you come closer to them. When they get in me and you, you know that they have last. Don't go to them. <laughs> <laughs> you are to perform my judgment and keep my status to live according to wisdom. I, I am the Lord your God. You are to perform my judgment and follow my counsel. The book of when are we reading Leviticus chapter 18? The verse number 5. Sister Esther, read it for me. You shall do my judgment. And keep my ordinances to walk therein. I am the Lord your God. He shall therefore keep my status and my judgments, which if a man do, he shall live in them. I am the Lord. So ye shall keep my status and my judgment by which a man may live if he does them. If a pastor comes to you. And what he's telling you is not promoting living righteous, holy life for the Lord, but living for yourself. You know what? Sometimes visit us, have our number and call us and get counsel. One of those that the Lord says, son, every person I sent to you want the truth. Don't tell them what you think. Tell them what I think. Anytime you go to a man of God, and he does not give you what God thinks. And tell you what he feels and what he thinks. Now you should make your judgment based upon your feeling and your thinking. Be careful, my dear. You might be destroyed unaware. The enemy is going wild. Nobody should approach his sister, his blood relative. To uncover their nakedness. Verse 6, is that ready for me? None of you shall approach to any that is near of kin to him to uncover their nakedness. I am the Lord. I am the Lord. Prior to the previous time they were doing that. So when the children of Israel, when they move out of sin, now God gave them his law. There were many people, so they need the law of God to govern them. So don't lie down with any relative. Um, Rachel and Leah, they were first cousins with Jacob, isn't it? Yes. First cousins. Isaac and Rebecca, they were first cousins. Abraham and Sarah, oh. they were first. They were even they themselves. They were cousins. They were real brother, blood, his father's daughter. So they were real blood. God took them out. The day that God called Abraham, he had already married. God wouldn't change it. In the process of time. So don't tell me why God did allow Abraham to marry his sister. He's not allowing me. If you won't love your sister, go and marry her. Foolishness. Why people ask so many foolish questions? What is in your sister that you admire? The sister you grew up together? Ah, if it is not demons, why did God allow the children of Israel to do this and we are not allowed? 
Because they were going to hell. And all that they did those things, they never reached. So when God called them, he said, my commandment and my status, they are me. I think I gave this, I made this studies recently. They reveals me. Every character of me is part of the law. Every law of God consists the nature and the character of Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, whatsoever God is telling us to turn away from, know that God wants to deprive us from having fun, but God wants to deprive us from sinning against him. That is the secret. He doesn't want us to dwell in sin. Don't approach your sister and uncover her nakedness. I am the Lord. You shall not uncover the nakedness of your father. Don't sleep with your father. Neither should you sleep with your daughter. It is abominable. Sister, read it for us. Verse 7. The nakedness, father, the nakedness of thy mother shall thou not uncover. She is thy mother. Thou shall not uncover her nakedness. It does not matter how beautiful your daughter or your son is. If somebody does this, it is demons, spirit of demons that want to destroy his seed. Satan wants that. These are some of the ways that demonic children are brought into this life. When these two people meet and give birth, Satan, because God leaves them instantly. So all the children that they are producing are demonic. Demonic children. That is how they are being produced. When we do intercourse. Yeah. Animal kingdom is still operates. The same father that gave birth to the same children. The same child will grow up and I want to run after his mom. But God said no. Human beings shouldn't do that. It's forbidden unto God. You shall not uncover the nakedness of your father's wife. It is your father's nakedness. The nakedness of thy father's wife shall thou not uncover. It is thy father's nakedness. It is abominable. Absalom did that and he died. He went after the concubines of his father David. Due to the counsel of Ahithophel. That is why David prayed and said, Let the counsel of Ahithophel turn into foolishness. And Ahithophel was a very intelligent guy. That the counsel that he gave to David brought David low had God not be upon him, his side. Stand firm and stand strong. You go to these people and what they do is sexual relationship is the one of the highest way that this familiar spirit that operates. So any pastor that comes to you and prophesies to you and yet want to take advantage over you, you don't care that you are married or not married. They can do it. Today modern pastors are doing that because that is where they get their source of power. The more they do it, the more they gain their strength. Verse 9, nakedness of your sister. So thy sister, the daughter of thy father, the daughter of thy mother, whoever shall be born at home or born abroad, even their nakedness that shall not uncover. Did you hear that? They are your siblings, half brother and half sisters. So long as they come from one part and people do this. And they bring curse. One of the one of the guys, Nanai Al Safo, well known. So far, how would I want? And then they want it. <laughs> one of the uh, guys, Nanai Al Safo, sorry, I'm coming. Nanai Al Safo was interviewing people on this, and people enter into curse by doing these things. Ladies and gentlemen, these things are abominable. If you have ever heard that thing, please do the restitution ASP. Don't cover that thing up. The reason why so many people are having sexual problems and they are suffering financially and all kinds of things are because of these backgrounds. And woe unto you if your family member, your mother or your father have gone through that situation. Therefore, when we stand, we need to cast all this in. Just a second, please. So, beloved, these things are very serious. Very, very serious. That Christians ought to be very, very careful with them. We must be careful if we want to. Christianity Christianity that cover only the New Testament is not a full Christianity. 
this one of my niece she was she's called rita she was my best friend she came into holiness but she couldn't she's wearing trousers she's wearing wig she listened to me the whole world is watching her the reason why i'm introducing her tomorrow you ask me pastor you preach holiness but if somebody visited you she's my niece i preach her she's hiding her face that's me I don't want you to come and accuse me while somebody will preaching. Somebody will ask, sister. I heard somebody say, Pastor, don't try it with me. <laughs> she knows me very well. <laughs> May God have mercy. Uh, she, this girl have had revelation. She had had revelation about heaven and hell. After a rapture experience, this girl has seen it. She said, the uncle, it is too hard. It's too hard for me to live awake. I pray that today the Lord will deliver her. These are some of the things that pains me. My own family members, they don't accept these teachings and live. She, she listened to me every now and then on, 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 on Facebook. Recently she was asking me, how can I connect? So maybe God is changing her hearts. Who knows? Are you going to lift your hands today and call God? Look at the jeans that she's wearing. It's very sad, isn't it? That is why we have to be serious. Our family members, we are preaching this to outsiders and they are going to heaven, our own family members. She's one of the people when she goes to hell, I will cry. But my tears will not change it. Beloved, let us be very sensitive with these things. We are not joking with this. We are not joking at all. The same message, people hear them and uh, they become active. There was a time she was unnatural. She threw away all these things. But for some reasons, she went back. She couldn't stay. And I pray that today might be another turning point in her life. Because I have exposed her publicly. The whole world is watching her. <laughs> I won't give her a full name. Now you go and type her on Facebook. She's very beautiful, pretty girl though. Very pretty girl. Beloved, we want to make heaven. And think that God hates. Think that God hates. If I knew that she was going to come into, into this room with this, I wouldn't allow her to come into the presence of because the presence of God is so so strong here. <laughs> yeah. So uh -huh, don't come to the camera. I don't want to see you here, please. You are draining my anointing. Let her be very serious with these things, people. Let her be very, very serious with them. Because if God hates it and we condone it, we are promoting that. We are promoting that. And it can cost us. If I don't do what I did today, God could have challenged me. And I don't want it. We want to be very transparent and we want to be clean. We want to be clean. May God have mercy upon us. You shall not uncover the nakedness of your father's wife. It is your father's nakedness. Don't uncover your sisters, your nephew, your niece. Whether born abroad or near. There is there this connection over there sometimes. Siblings. Yeah, when somebody from your bloodline. When you meet, there is some kind of connection that comes there. Many people have done that have brought uh, curses upon themselves. And that is why before you will meet a woman, if you are a Christian, before, before you sleep with her, you need to trace your background first and know where each and everybody is coming from. That's why Christianity does not promote premarital sex. Unless you have done all the investigation and know the background. Because there can be a curse somewhere else. Apart from praying, there are some this pastor they want to marry you, and they, they ask you to send you their naked pictures. One of our sister is going to the similar thing now. Pastor wants to marry her. A pastor. And the man says, Send me your nighty. Your picture in your nighty. Such a person you need to you, you if the person is very close, you need to slap the person. A person who want to marry but want to see your nakedness first. It's an abominable thing in the sight of God. We have this false prophet. Any person that does that is familiar. It does not matter what he says. It's a familiar spirit. They enjoy that. They enjoy that. The nakedness of your father's wife. Verse 12. You shall not uncover the nakedness of your father's sister, your auntie. Not uncover the nakedness of thy father's sister. She is thy father's near kinswoman. He, he is your kinswoman. So anytime that we come closer, these things are abominable. 
And some people have gone through that from infancy, from childhood. Many, when the moment we do that, we allow invite demons to come and dwell in us. So, these are what the false prophets, what they do. Yeah. The false prophets today, they are doing that, sacrificing their children, sacrificing their relatives, sacrificing their wives, burying their own wives. You are so-called pastors and so-called gospel singers. They've done so many wicked things. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to end here because of time. And we want to enjoy what we have been. We're dealing with familiar spirit. Familiar spirit are spirit that behave like God. They can tell you things that are hidden to ordinary people. They read your palm. They can see your star. They can read your face. They see your face and they begin to prophesy and speak to you. Whenever you're in an environment these days, in the Old Testament, there was nothing called single prophecy that God was giving any man a single prophecy. Tomorrow, maybe we go out to know a little bit about the old prophets, what they are supposed to live. You're supposed to live solely by the word of God. The old prophets shouldn't take bribe, they shouldn't take anything from any other person. We must be very, very careful. Our modern day Christianity has reached a level of collapsing. And if care is not taken, we can have them also creeping into holiness teachings. The enemy is a deceiver and he is looking for whom he may get to destroy. Therefore, you and me must be very serious. Let's go down on our knees and cry to God. Beloved, we must be very, very serious. Jesus is coming and none of us. Rita, you want to pray? Go down on your knees and cry to God to change you. He will change you. Ask God to save you, girl. You need it badly. Hell is not a good place for any person to go. Hell is not a good place. So we are going to live all our life here and go to hell. God is able to save our soul and deliver us from the hands of these four spirits. God is willing. We've said so many things that might have turned your heart to know the truths. That if you are dealing with any man of God or any woman of God that is not using the name Jesus Christ, prophesying and doing miracles, and when you see their manifestation, the way they trace their hands, the way they do all the gimmick and other things, I mean, you must be gentle, you must be plain, and you must be simple, straightforward. There is nothing like the, the part of the type of dress that they wear with red and all these things with chain and the Old Testament form of dressing is not. And any person that comes into your life want to take advantage, they preach for money, they preach to take advantage sexually. Be very careful with these men. They are familiar spirit. And God said, any person that tends to those people, he will cut them off from his plans. Be serious. And let's come before God one way or the other. There have been so many people who are sharing this kind of uh, revelation on Facebook today that most of them are under that spirit. How can we know that these revelations are not from God? <coughs> most of the revelation, they don't have scripture. One person will tell you, I had a revelation. And that revelation contained volumes of revelation. It's not from God. Anytime that God will give you a message, that message is small. If the entire Bible was written in a day, it would be very, very dangerous. The one day God show everything. That is demonic. We can't, we can't allow that into life. If you come and say that you have had a revelation for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different locations, I will believe that. Let us pray that we may not be deceived. Ask God, the Lord, take me out of deception. Take me out of error. Take me out of falsehood in the name of Jesus. Save my soul. Save my soul from anything that is false. Save my soul. Pray. Pray to God in the name of Jesus. Forgive us, O God, individually and collectively as a church, O God, that we have given our ears, we've given our attention, we've given our heart and our mind to those things, O God, that cause us to defile ourselves. You said we should not go closer to them, that we should defile ourselves. And some of the things, apart from 
some sexual relationship apart from uh, 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 idol worship one area is also to become one with those who are doing that affirm them allow them to come into our vicinity oh god have mercy upon us oh my god oh my god some of us are their proximity every now and then but father we stand and cry that have mercy forgive us oh god for allowing ourselves to come to so close you are god we've given up on your righteousness and we are following idol things we put you on things that you hate dressing according to things that are abominable father forgive us oh god we can't die in this we can't die in this. We are praying for our relatives who are going through the same thing. Father, change their hearts. Change their hearts, oh God. And pastors who have not seen, but they say they have seen. Pastors who have not heard, but they say they have heard. Pastors who have not been there, but they say they have been. Pastors who are, are, are paying people to say lies. Oh God, have mercy upon them. And many of them who are affirming evil. It doesn't matter. It does not matter, pastors. Oh God, have mercy upon them. We bring their hearts and their minds to you, O oh God. You are more than able to change them and to heal them. Father, I thank you for every person that will be listening to this message. Father, I cry that there must be something said that can change their heart. Reveal yourself to them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shall we pray that may God expose, may God expose any false prophet in your life. May God expose any false person in your heart. In the name of Jesus. Let them be exposed. Let them be exposed. Let them be exposed. Let them be exposed. That your people might not give in into their deception. We want to live for you, a God. We want to walk with you. There is a battle, oh God. There is a battle. There is a battle. There is a battle that we need to overcome. There is a battle that we need to overcome. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, say, I give up everything that belongs to Satan in my life. I give up every thought, every idea, every suggestion. There might be something, somebody listening to me. You are wearing all these things. You say that you are going to heaven. You, and, and many of them are on Facebook today preaching the gospel and have all kinds of demonic things upon themselves. I am telling you, sister, repent from that. Those of you who say, God said we should wear small earring. They repent because you are demonized and demons are following you. Everything that you say is coming from devil. And the Lord said that I am against them. Help us, O oh God, to become like one of your early kings that threw away all the falsehood in their mess so that their life will not be contaminated. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. The Lord is saying that some of you, you still have friends. You still have friends that are still doing these things. God say that turn your heart away from them. Have nothing to do with them so long as they are not ready to observe the ways of God. Have nothing in common with those who walk in darkness, things of the dark. Have nothing in common with them. Don't feed them and don't help them to stand. Father, in the name of Jesus, we repent of our sin. We regret of all doing all this and affirming these things. Father, we know that you are a good God who loves us. We want to change our hearts. Change us. Sanctify us and make us holy. In Jesus' name. Those of you who want to confess Jesus as your personal Savior, it doesn't matter how much and how long you have done it. Ask God, say, Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God. I believe you died for my sin. Lord, I am a sinner. Please forgive me of my sins and cleanse me from my unrighteousness. Reveal yourself to me, O God. Show me your ways. Please grant me your Holy Spirit. And let me live for you. Let me love you, O God, and do what you want me to do. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Beloved, if you have prayed that prayer, I want to assure you that it's one of the dynamic prayers that you can pray. One of the highest prayers for a sinner to pray to God. The Lord have listened to that prayer. We encourage you to join us 24-7 on the same platform every day we are here. Join me from Facebook. My name is Pastor Gabriel Adade. Gabriel Adade, number one and number two. We have love Adade. We have also many brothers that share this uh, uh, audios or videos into their various Facebook. Please follow them and watch them. Got our own online radio, Enter Radio UK, which you can access in Sia Live. Those of you who are in Italy, you can access it through Sia Live. Is it S I I A L I V? Sia Live. Or tune in. If you have tune in apps, you can access the radio 24 7. It's playing. And it's 
communicating the voice of God. Besides that, you can have my podcast also on on um, podcast. If you have podcast, you can listen to these messages on podcast on MP3. You can have them. God bless you. Go to YouTube, click Pastor Gabriel Adadi or Love Adadi. You got my videos over there. Most of the videos are share. I post them there that people can follow. You got any question? Please don't hesitate to come by and ask question. I welcome all of you who are on Facebook to join us on Zoom, on Zoom, and I believe the Lord God will change you and make you who He is. Until we meet again, shall we share the grace of God? And now may the grace of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen.